James Justin, what an absolute des delight to see you in an England tracksuit, smiling away at me, back on your feet, selected by Gareth Southgate. I mean, what a year it's been for you since that horrendous injury. Yeah, I mean, it's been a nothing and down journey, as you, as you know. And uh, just to be out the back of it now and, and obviously to be selected by England is, uh, everyone says it, but it's literally a dream come true. Yeah, I mean, it is a dream come true in many ways. We've, we've talked over the years about it. You've obviously come through the age groups with England. Gareth Southgate mentions you all the time in, in press conferences when he's talking about players being close to the team. So you've known it's been close. But, I mean, that, that's even harder sometimes, isn't it, when you're waiting for your name to get called out? Yeah, of course. It's, it's the exact same thing uh, when you're at the end stage of your injury and you, you know you're there, but you're not quite there. Um, but uh, just to obviously be selected now, and obviously I've been in his thoughts for the last for the last year, so it's really a positive thing. So talk me through your first open senior training session yesterday. Yeah, I mean, obviously I was a bit nervous to join up before beforehand, but uh, really excited to get going. And it was more of an adaptation session yesterday, and just uh, to get the legs going again because obviously we've been off for a week. Um, but it was, it was nice to get in with the boys and I could see the quality that they have already. You say you were nervous. Uh, what is it about walking into this England squad that, that makes you kind of feel like that? Because it's quite a lovely, open group and everyone's very friendly. But, I mean, I I is it the, the pressure of expectation? Yeah, of course. It's, it's that. It's just uh, wanting to perform and, and show your best version of yourself and not to make any mistakes. But obviously you've got to think that Everyone makes mistakes. Harry Kane makes mistakes. So you got to think, just take them in your stride and move on from them. So, so who's taken you under their wing? Uh, a bit of everyone, to be fair. I know, uh, obviously, Harry Maguire, since he's... Uh, obviously, he's been at United the last few seasons. But uh, when I first joined, he was kind of ones, one of the ones at Leicester that kind of done the same thing. So he's been really great to me. But all of the lads have been really welcoming. Does that make a big difference when you've got a player who maybe has, has spent a long time at one club and then kind of gets picked out for a big move? Is it a different experience? Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's really, it's hard to, hard to describe in terms of uh, you're just getting on, getting on every day playing football and just having fun and then next thing you know, something massive happens and you just kind of have to take it in your stride and stay level-headed as much as you can. We were devastated to lose you at, at Luton, but we obviously knew that you were destined for, for, for bigger and better things. How has it been working? Because you've gone from two very different styles of, of manager in, in a lot of ways. What, what kind of influence have Nathan Jones and Brendan Rodgers had on you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Nathan Jones was unbelievable. He was one of the first people to, to text me after he found out the news and uh, had a little chat with him, and he was so proud of me. But uh, what he did for me as a player is just, he took me from just being okay to being in the Luton first team to wanting more and just pushing me and pushing me every day. And uh, I can only thank him for that, really. And, and Brendan's influence on you, I've, I've read interviews where you've talked about him and how he's developed your game. How has he turned you into, into a Premier League player? How, what's changed about your game under him? It's just, uh, it's really simple things that, I'd never thought of before and he just nails him into you as, as, a, as a player and uh, just core values in terms of uh, first pass, thinking about this, thinking about that, preparation and uh, obviously since, since he's come in and since he brought me in I've become a much better player so yeah I can only thank him as well. Versatility is key coming up for tournaments in particular, and Gareth Southgate has spoken about it a lot. You're obviously a, a right back by trade, if you like, but that League One winning season for Luton, you played predominantly on the left, but you actually started your career as a, as a central midfielder, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of us fullbacks now are failed, failed midfielders and wingers, so uh, <laughs> now, nah, but um, I play on the left and the right, like it. It makes no difference to me. I even sometimes prefer the left now, but uh, obviously I can play in a number of positions, which uh, I've learned throughout the years and different managers have put me in different places. So I'm grateful for that. And it's just a new experience to get better as a player. 
that that's so key as well that that versatility we saw it with Ben White being called up to the Euros really late on um, you know and it was because he could cover a number of, of different positions so do, do you feel like that gives you the edge um, coming into the World Cup yeah I mean we've spoken um, about it um, in the last couple of days about my versatility and what I can bring to the team and uh, it's it's a big thing for a, a manager knowing that that he can trust you in different positions and hopefully if I get out there on the pitch I can perform. Obviously there's no recognised left back in the squad. Kieran Trippier has played on the left for, for Gareth Southgate so all the talk is that we're expecting to see you on the left as well. I'm not expecting you to give away trade secrets or anything yeah. like that but is that something you'd be, be comfortable if you were called into that role? Yeah of course I mean my last I don't know how many games maybe six, six or seven at Leicester have been at left back and since I've been at left back I've been playing playing a bit better and but whatever position you choose me and I'll I'll give my all, as I always do. Gareth Southgate talked a lot about you being close, uh, you know, before the injury. And he also said in his press conference um, a week or so ago that he feels that you are exactly at the level you were before the injury. Do, do you feel that yourself? Personally, I feel like I'm getting close to that level. But I also think now that I've got another level that I can get to. And uh, just training with these players for the last couple of days, I feel like, I'm improving already and it's just the same thing when I was younger when I was at Luton and I came to play with England I feel like it elevated my game even more and and this is a, the same sort of thing here. What kind of messages have you had from people you said you've heard from from Nathan Jones already when you got your call up what, what other messages have you had? It's just everyone from every walk of life that that you've been through is just saying congratulations like I always knew you were destined for big things this that and the other but uh yeah, it's really nice to receive those messages, or, although they are a bit overwhelming at times. <laughs> <laughs> We're obviously heading out to Budapest uh, in a few days' time, then on, on to Munich, and then we've got two games here uh, in the UK at Molyneux. What would it mean to you to be able to put a senior England shirt on for the first time and step out on the pitch and get your first cap? Yeah, it would be unbelievable. I mean, it's just an honour being selected. I mean, the... Every kid, when they when they're young, wants to play for England, and I have an opportunity to to do so in this camp if I uh, just do the things that I've been doing. So uh, it'll it'll mean everything to me. Um, just one final question: uh, James Madison was a big talking point when the squad came out. I know, I know your friends, teammates at Leicester as well. Um, it must be difficult when everybody is expecting you to be part of a squad and then you're not. Have you, have you managed to talk to James about, about his omission? Yeah, I mean, I've been, uh, I've talked to him at, at length really and he just knows he has to keep doing his thing and knuckle down and, and try and be too hard to, to not be included in the squad. And to do that, he's just got to elevate, elevate his game even more because the players in his position, all of them have had good seasons as well. So... Uh, he has to do something special to get in the squad. Yeah, Gareth Southgate said that the door's not closed for, for anybody and we've still obviously got September to, to come. But what would it mean for you personally to be called up and, and how much are you desperate to be on that plane to Qatar? Yeah, I mean, first things first, I've got to perform here to, to give myself a chance, but it'd be unbelievable. I mean, obviously the World, the World Cup is, a, is another level. It's the pinnacle of football. So, yeah, it'd be, it'd be unbelievable.